Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers three ways to see your students when you're presenting your screen in Google Meet. One of the great features of Google Meet is the ability to share your screen with your students or other meeting participants. This allows you to present a slideshow, navigate a website, work out a math problem, show a video, or provide any sort of instruction. The problem is, once you share your screen to begin presenting, all you can see is, well, what you're presenting, and not your students or audience anymore. This can make it difficult to stay connected to your students, to assess their understanding, to monitor their engagement, and to take questions. Thankfully, there are several options for how you can stay connected with your students while presenting your screen. In this video, we'll take a look at three of those ideas. The first option is hands down the best choice if you can do it, which is to attach a second monitor to your computer or laptop. This allows you to have the Google Meet with all of your students displaying on one monitor while the content you're presenting to the students is on a completely different monitor. For example, when I'm presenting, I will often have two extra monitors plugged in so I can have the Google Meet on one monitor, what I'm presenting on a second monitor, and my notes on a third monitor. If you have a desktop computer, you'll have to check the back to see if you have connections for more than one monitor. However, if you're using a laptop, you should almost certainly have a port to connect a separate screen. Most all laptops have a VGA port or an HDMI port that we normally use to connect a projector, but can just as easily be used to hook up a second monitor. If you don't have one of those ports, your laptop may have a USB-C connection, which can also be used for a second monitor. However, you may need an adapter like this USB-C to HDMI adapter that I use with my Chromebook. Once you have plugged in the second monitor, you might need to adjust the settings on your computer to use this display properly. Depending upon your type of computer, you'll want to choose whatever setting will let you extend your desktop. You want to uncheck any option for cloning or mirroring your desktop, since that would just show the same thing on both screens. In my Google Meet, I can now present what is on the other monitor to my students. First, I will separate my Google Meet tab from the rest of the tabs that have the content that I want to present. Next, I will now drag those tabs with the content over to my other monitor. Next, I'll click the Present Now button down in the bottom right-hand corner. If I choose your entire screen, I'll now need to pick the monitor that has the content that I want to show. Or, if I pick a window, then I need to select the window that I dragged over to the other monitor with all of my content. Either way, I'll click Share to start presenting. And that's it. I can now see my students on one of my monitors while the content I'm presenting to them is on the other monitor. So that's option number one. But what if you don't have a second monitor to attach to your computer? Well, let's look at option two, which is logging into the Meet a second time with a different device. The idea behind this is that Google Meet allows you to log into your own meeting more than one time. You can use another laptop or a Chromebook or an iPad or your smartphone to log into the Meet a second time. You can use your first device to present your screen and do all of your teaching, but then you can use your second device to see your students. Here's how it works. So I would use my main computer to start up the Meet as normal. Then I can use my laptop or tablet or phone to join the same Meet with my same account. You can get the 10 letter code by clicking on the meeting details in the bottom left hand corner or you can email the link to yourself or click on the link in Google Classroom or wherever else you want to share it. Now once I connect with my second device I'm going to want to mute my microphone on that device so that both devices do not pick up my voice and cause an echo. I can do that with the mute microphone button at the bottom of the screen. In addition, I may want to turn off the webcam on the second device since I'm just using it to see my students. If I am using a laptop or a Chromebook for this purpose, I can also use the Google Meet Grid View extension to see all of my students at once on that device. 
The grid view extension is covered in detail in another video in this series. I can now use the present now button on my main computer to present my screen and teach while I'm able to view all of my students on my second device. So that is option number two. But what if you don't have a second device? Well, we still have option number three. If you only have one device and only have one monitor, you can overlay your presentation window with your Google Meet window on your one monitor. Here's how that works. So I'll start up my Google Meet as normal, and then I'll load up my content that I want to present into its own tabs. I will now click and drag my Google Meet tab so it's pulled out into its own window. The trick now is going to be to make each window slightly different in size so I can click on each of them to jump back and forth between them and so that I can still see the Google Meet chat panel while I'm presenting. So I'm going to select the window that has Google Meet and I'm going to click on the chat icon in the top right hand corner to open up the chat panel. I'll then grab the bottom of the window and drag it up just a little bit to make it a little shorter than normal. Next, I'm going to select the window that has my teaching content in it. And I'm going to resize it to make it just a little bit more narrow so that I can see the chat window behind it. Now back in my Google Meet, I can click the Present Now button and then choose a window and then select the window that has my teaching content and then finally click Share. Now the students will see what I'm presenting from this window but I can see the chat panel in the background in case anyone asks a question. And I can quickly click back to the Meet window or back to the presentation and jump back and forth as needed. Of course, no matter what method you use, be sure to go back to your Google Meet screen when you're finished and press Stop Presenting when done. So those are three options for seeing your students when presenting your screen in Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.